everyone welcome to the new video of our integration series in this video we will be looking into custom integrations in service now till now we saw what are out of the box apis and how to use them in service now but in real world in larger organization the problem are very complex in nature they require complex queries and complex logic to be implemented now to solve these kind of problems out of the box api alone are not sufficient so we use custom apis we build custom apis to solve these kind of issues now in this video we'll be looking into how to actually implement how to actually create these custom apis in service now so let's get started i am in my pdi right now so i'll go into filter navigator and search for system web services inside system web services you will see there are different modules we will look into some of the major modules from this later in this series but for this video we will look into scripted rest apis so scripted rest apis is the table where all the api details and api endpoints are stored and the logic these things are stored in this table so in this video we will look into a use case where we have to create an endpoint and give it to client the client gives us the assignment group name and that api should respond the client with all the incident that are in progress state and those are assigned to that particular assignment group so for that we'll create a new record in this table i'll give it some name api id will be automatically populated now in the security section we can give the acl so acls are the access controls that allows us to implement authorization in service now so let's say i want that only particular group of users should be able to use that api so for those purposes i write acl for this video for demo purpose i'll select scripted rest external default acl and i'll save this record now after saving you'll see a base api path gets created we will look into this thing later in this video when we come down we see a resource section here we'll create a new record we will give some name to it let's say get incidents the http method we will mention so this is a get api so get http method we will select then you will see you get a script section here and inside script we have two objects request and response object request is the object that contains all the information that the client is requesting so the group name that he will be sending and all the request body that will come under this object the response is the object which we will fill and send it to client so now for our use case we want to query the incident table to fetch all the records that are in the incident table that have stayed as in progress and they belong to a particular assignment group that the user has sent us so for that so using this request object i fetched the group that the client is sending using query parameters and i'll store that variable value in this group variable i'll create a result array 
to store all the incident data. Now I am querying the incident table. This is the query that I'll add that state is 2 and assignment group is the group that the client is sending. I'll create an object to store each incident record. And then I will fill this object using the incident that we have. So I'll number Now, after fetching, filling uh, the object that I created through the incident that I received from the, server, from the database, I'll push this object inside our result array. After this, I will use set body method inside the response object and pass my result array inside it. So what is happening? I am receiving request from the client. I am fetching the group that he is sending through this through this line request dot query parameters dot group as he'll be sending group name in query parameters. I am storing that value in a variable known as group. Then I am creating a result array. I am querying the incident table with the query state equals to 2 and assignment group is the group that the client has sent to me. I am querying the table. Then I am creating an object and filling that object using the incident that I am getting. The fields that I am uh, fetching data are number, caller ID and category. Then at the last, I am pushing this object inside this resultant array. After doing this, I am filling the response object using this set body method and I am sending this result array inside the response. Now I am going to save this record. I will also give a relative path to it. You will also see things like requires authentication, requires ACL authorization and ACLs. So this is the child resource. Let me open the scripted REST API in a different window. Incident operations. So 
so here you can see there is a base path so base path is nothing it is the starting path of that particular resource so this is the base path that means this is the starting point now inside this scripted rest service we have resources get incident and we can create multiple resources like this with different http method that according to our requirement so right now we have created get incident with get http method verb now you will see a resource path here that includes both the base url as well as the relative path for this particular resource so after going to the base url it will go inside the resource using this path relative path and the complete resource path will be this now we have created this api now it's time to test this so here in the related links you will see a explore rest api button click on this button so it will open rest api explorer the place where we test our apis you can see it has already populate the endpoint that we have created and the verb that we have put in now in the query parameters we have to pass the group name group let me open incident table okay let's say i i use software group let's see what it returns so i have sent it and i have received a 200 ok as the response but the result that i am getting is empty let's see why so there are five incidents that means we have some issue So the issue that we have is the query that we have written is assignment group but assignment group is a reference field so what we have to do we have to do assignment group dot name so that it takes the name of the group we'll reload this api let's test it again I'll group the I'll pass software as the parameter for group. Let's see what happens now. I received 200 OK and I have received a list of incidents with number, color, and category for each one of them. So here I'm getting five incident data that we have here as well number, color and category so this way we can implement custom apis we can build custom apis and write custom logics for our complex use cases so this is all for our for this video stay tuned to this integration playlist we'll be coming up with more videos like this hope it helped you and you learned a lot thank you